right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. This is a dream for a lot of mixed martial arts fans. And yourself, Daniel, a guy who at one point could have fought Fedor Emelianenko, he and Dana White on the same page. We got Fedor in the octagon. Today. I'm glad it didn't happen because uh -huh. let me tell you something about Fedor. He's unknown. He's an enigma. We all want to know what is Fedor Emelianenko? What does he look like in the UFC? We finally get to find out. We know that he has a crazy high-level skill set, but we never knew how it would fare against the absolute best in the world. Tonight we find out, if I had to guess, I would think he would be just okay. And you got the sense with Fedor that he wasn't gonna wholly enjoy retirement if he did not check this box. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proven ground in the sport. to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hazel. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Round one, the last Emperor Fedor Emelianenko. I get a little bit anxious when this man fights. A lot of us never thought this day would come. Fedor Emelianenko in the UFC, and he talked a lot about wrestling this week. Certainly he believes if this was a kickboxing match contested on the feet, he could win it and would, but he wants to get his wrestling game going. And when it comes to that Emelianenko, top pressure. Not a man you want to be fighting off of your back against. Gets the early takedown. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Changing the position. Fedor's has got full mount now. And he is back up to his feet. John Brown and elbow to no avail. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. So more output, at least in the early going. Huge block there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Try to establish that jab. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. That one connected. Well, he 
He works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Fatal. Emilianenko is eye now closing up. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, he lands a hook. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Head kick lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice counter shot there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with all that. Jab, right hand. Body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Another big kick down. Fedor's in half guard. That was a slick transition. The unbelly. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Back to his feet. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, and slipping. He's doing a great job. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture of some kind. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He's... Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke his left in. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. A power bomb. So just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. His misses are entertaining. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now some separation. Now he's starting to fight. Oh! Back to the feet now.
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage. Oh! oh Two's left. We might get a stoppage here. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot. Right back! Right back! Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Emilianenko. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish, but he cannot rush. He cannot allow his opponent to get to his back. Working hard once again for that submission. It looks tight to me. Oh, man, that was slick. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there and watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, oh, do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.